Oh god. Hey guys, you see me? <laughs> oh, it feels weird. Oh, it feels weird. <laughs> Hey guys, Izumi here. Long time no see. Oh, this feels so foreign yet familiar. It's a weird feeling that I really have never felt before, but it's very, very nice. I'm very glad to be back. You guys might have seen the video I posted the day before I deleted everything. <laughs> uh, the day before I deleted basically four years of my life, um, almost five years. Um, now that I think about it, I think it was like four and a half, five years, around there, of my life. Um, <laughs> all because of insecurity and it feels so surreal to be talking to you guys again. I've had little channels here and there to kind of fill the void because I never wanted, I never really wanted to quit. When we're gonna get into that uh, whole mess. <laughs> but for those who are watching, thank you so much for staying for this long, or if you're just not finding me. Hi, um, thanks for coming. I expect really no one to see this because I'm pretty sure you all have left by this point, but I'm making this for the few that are here so you get a little bit of an explanation rather than me pretending like nothing ever happened. So, about a year ago, almost to the day actually, I'm pretty sure. Um, actually no, it was a little over a year ago. Somewhere around there. I faced the biggest decision when it came to YouTube I ever really had. And that was whether I wanted to quit or not. And I made the wrong choice. I was in a state of mind and a point of view that was very negative on myself. And I was also going through some personal, um, mental stuff that hadn't bothered me for a while before that. Um, and I never handled it well, and I was recovering from that. Nothing to be worried about. Please don't be worried about me. I am perfectly okay now, um, and I'm working through it every day. My boyfriend's been a huge support. Um, and it's been great, and it's been nothing horrible, it's been nothing life-threatening, and I've just been working through it, and I never realized how much you guys meant to me until I left. <laughs> And it felt freeing at first, because I was like, oh, no one's paying attention to what I'm doing anymore. I don't have to make videos anymore. But then I realized that that was my escape from the things I was going through. And I didn't realize that until later on. But that's besides the point. <laughs> I am so incredibly happy to be back. Um... Even if no one watches this, or any of the content I'm gonna produce, I have finally found that it isn't something to be embarrassed about, and that it isn't something to hide, and that it isn't something to be ashamed of. Because for a very long time, I had a very, oh, what I do is cringy, what I do is stupid, what I do is meaningless, but it, I didn't realize how much it was helping me. <laughs> At first it started as I just, loved watching the content and so I thought I can do that I can create that and I had had already two channels prior to this um I'd had a stop-motion channel when I was eight <laughs> and I had a vlogging channel from when I was like nine or ten to the age of like 13 14 around there <laughs> and 
I started Izumi when I was like 12, I believe. And I immediately felt something different with Izumi. First of all, it grew unlike any of my channels had prior. But I found a community and I found so many friends. I found my boyfriend through Izumi. And I didn't really I didn't realize how important Izumi was to me until I threw her away. Ah, okay. I genuinely didn't think I was gonna get emotional at all during this video. I thought it was gonna be a cutesy little video like, I'm back! This is what happened while I was gone. Um, but no, apparently uh, the waterworks won't take a break. <laughs> I'm a very emotional person and I've been even more emotional recently. Um, because there's been a lot of really great emotions recently, and then there have been some moments where I've had to kind of take a step back, and it's all healing, though. It's every emotion I felt has been a healing emotion, whether, whether it could or bad, it's all healing old things that I've held on to for too long, and letting go. <laughs> Speaking of letting go, I feel like that's a okay segue. The reason the channel name is different is because we are going to be moving on from Izumi's story. Because I am not the same person I was when I did Izumi, but I still want Izumi to be a part of my life. And so, we are doing the daughter of Izumi in Minecraft High School. Um, we're going to be doing a spin-off series called Minecraft High, very similar name, so hopefully people that are past fans of the series will find it again. Um, <laughs> It is following Chris and Izumi's daughter, and her name is going to be Angel, which is going to be played by me. Um, and that'll be coming out the day that this comes out. So I will be linking at the end of this video the first and prelude episode of that series. Basically, there's going to be an episode zero, and then there's going to be an episode one. So episode zero basically is kind of a fully cinematic, pretty good production style Better than anything I've ever done, really, in my eyes, because I was very passionate about it, so I feel like it turned out the best out of anything I've done. Kind of as, like, a flashback scene at the beginning, and then tells you what's happened since then. And who all got together, and 15 years later, their daughter. So that's what's going to be happening. I'm going to be following Angel instead, and I'm now Angel, rather than Izumi. And I feel like it's a good next step, rather than throwing Izumi away, I get to be part- I, I still have part of Izumi in me without having to try to put on some sort of- some sort of act and act like I am the same person that I was when I started. Cause I- it's been years. I'm obviously- y you guys watched me grow up, really, and- because of that, I've changed a lot, and I like the person I've become. And I like the person I was, and I didn't for a really long time. And I was really hard on myself for a very long time. And so the moment I saw it as embarrassing and wanted to hide it, I deleted it. They're all on an archive channel, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. All the episodes of Minecraft High School, and there are some episodes, actually not all the episodes, some of them got corrupted. Majority of the episodes of Minecraft High School are on the Izumi Archive channel, which is basically a compilation of every video. Um, and the Life of the Wicked is on there, and um, Crescent Hearts, and Echo High, the two episodes of that. And I believe there's another series on there. I think so. Um, there's some series. There's my main role plays are on there. Um, for those who want to watch or that are new to the series and don't know the backstory, um, and want more than just the brief summary at the beginning of episode zero, you guys can go back and watch those. They're nowhere near the quality I can do that is, but they were so much fun to film, which is why I shouldn't have been embarrassed of them. Quick note, I wish I would have heard this before I deleted my channel. If you had fun, if you have fun doing anything, don't let anyone or yourself tell you that you shouldn't do it. 
I was my own worst enemy while doing it. So much that I drove myself to delete the videos. I'm so glad I didn't fully delete them. I'm so glad I re-uploaded them on somewhere. Because all that matters is that I had so much fun making them. And I had so much fun making the other episodes that are episode zero and episode one. It felt like I was home again. And I'm so happy to be back. So, the, the title of the video should be something along the lines of what happened to Izumi. Nothing. We're back. In the time I've been gone, I've been finding who I am without an audience to watch. And it was the first time in my life I, since I was eight that I didn't have a YouTube channel that was currently going consistently. I had a channel every now and then that I would try and I would just lose passion almost immediately. And a lot of you guys found them, and I was so happy that you guys found them. But it would just bring me back to the question of why am I doing this again if it's not... It's not the story I wanted to continue. It's not the people I wanted to do it, like, around. The characters I wanted to do it around. It's not the subscribers that I got used to seeing comment on every video. It felt kind of meaningless when it wasn't... The passion project I had been working on for four years so I know this video was everywhere but I hope you kind of got a gist of why I left why I'm back and I hope you guys know I love you guys <laughs> and I'm so happy to be back even if there's only like two of you left out of the 30,000 we had, I know my subscribers have gone down, but that really doesn't matter to me because I know YouTube, first of all, takes away subscribers on inactive channels, as well as people will leave when there's no content, obviously, and I understand that and I respect that, but those that stayed or that refined me, or find me, just brand new, thank you so much. I'm sorry, this has been a little sappy. I really did not think that it was going to be at all. But then again, I underestimated how much Izumi meant to me yet again. I love you guys. I missed you guys. I'm so happy to be back. And I don't know whether to say Izumi or Angel out. For all time's sake, we're gonna say Izumi. Thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you liked it. If you want to see more, subscribe. Like if you liked it. That's what I'm gonna say. And Izumi out.